our up close video. So this one is for the um, floral frame dies from Tonic. I'm not 100% sure um, exactly what they're going to be called because my ones are just labelled number one, number two, number three. Um, but obviously that will all be in the description below when I put this video up. Um, I really love these ones actually. I I especially love the sentiments. They are just such brilliant sentiments. They're really like modern and funky. They have a gorgeous scripty large word and then small little words to complete the sentiment. And I really, really, really love these sentiments. I have a feeling I'm going to have to keep these ones separate, um, you know, from the main die set. So I really remember to use them all the time because they're so gorgeous. I'll show you the sentiments up close first off a few of the cards that I've done. So this one is follow your dream. I'll go into detail on the cards in a second, but I just wanted to show you the gorgeous sentiments that I'm raving about. Then this one is um, thanks for everything. Then there's also hello beautiful. And they're all that same style of a really uh, cool, funky, scripty word with the little font underneath to finish the sentiment. And then you also have you're the best as well and you can also um, snip into the thanks for everything and you're the best to create thank you as well so they're really versatile and that's just obviously using the bigger scripty um, words from the sets as well um, one set has two sentiments in and the others both have one in each um, so because I'm not sure of what the names are this the square one has hello beautiful inside it um, and I really love this square one. I think I was using it. I think I was using it that way round when I used it on a card. But obviously, you can turn it four different ways round because uh, there's a different flower in each corner. So whichever way you turn it um, will look different. And also, the oh no, maybe I was using it that. Oh, I can't remember which way I used it. But um, obviously, whichever way you turn it round, the um, flower interior shape will be a different orientation as well. Um, one corner uh, you have, I, I'm thinking this is kind of a, like a lily, so I'm calling that one a lily. Uh, then this one is like a hibiscus and also another one across from it. And then this one's almost like a sunflowery daisy kind of a flower. And then around the rest of the frame you've got um, like open leaves, you've got more bushier leaves, you've got leaves with a vein down the middle of it and little solid leaves as well to fill in the rest of the frame. And you also have a separate... Um, branch as well with little leaves on that you can use too and the um, it's a verso die set so this one will just cut into your card and you'll have a solid flower in the centre that whole bit in the centre will be solid and there's no cutting edge on the outside but you can use it with the edge that it comes with which has um, uneven stitching on it so they're different lengths so it's not like um, your generic all the same length stitch along it they go bigger smaller bigger smaller all the way along um, which I think is really nice and different um, so they go perfectly together and then you also have uh, also yeah on the inside of that one actually you have the stitching there as well so if you leave this um, without cutting this flower out the centre you will still get that stitch detail around it or if you do cut it out with the flower you'll have the um, cutting line with the stitching on the inside so if you use the outside and the flower together with the intricate panel you would have stitching on both sides um, which is really lovely and then but you also get stitching on the inside of the flower die as well uh, which is also really lovely and then that has the hello beautiful one and that little um, leaf as well which is really useful because on one of the cards well the, the main card I use this one for I actually snipped this um, lily flower out separately and had a few of the leafy um, design around it as well and I thought that looked really lovely then we have more of a circular design this one has um, the actual Yes, yeah, so these two are different. That one, yeah, that one's definitely a verso die because the outside cutting edges are separate on both of them. But these two are both different. So they both have on the... Well, actually, no, they're both different from each other as well. Anyway, on on this one, the it has a cutting edge on both sides. So this whole thing cuts out this gorgeous um, frame design and it has a butterfly hiding in one corner as well. Um, 
And I don't think there's any other butterflies within it. It's all sort of swirly with leafy designs. Obviously that's why they're called floral frames. So it's all sort of viney stuff. And then with just that one butterfly in it as well. So this one cuts out as a whole. And that gives you the design. But you also get the um, outside edge. So you could make this into a shaped card. You could do a shaped easel card. You can just have a solid backing piece for this. And then you could like paper piece back into this if you wanted to. Um, lots of different options um, with that as well. And then this one is the one that comes with two sentiments. So you have you're the best and thanks for everything. And all of the sentiments are a really gorgeous fine scripty font. Um, but they also have the bubble. All of them have their own outside bubble as well. So you can... Um, you can cut both of them together which give a skinny outside one. I did have one cut but I don't know what I did with it. Um, so you can cut them both together. You can't really, it's not really like legible but you could layer two of them back together to make an interesting kind of technique if you wanted to. Um, or you can just cut this one separately and stick it onto a solid of the backing one. Um, and I uh, personally I prefer to cut this bubble die out of vellum so that uh, when I add it to a card, it just helps it stand out that tiny bit more from your like bright background. Um, I just find that that's the way I like to use them. So that is uh, that frame as well. I'm sorry I can't give you the proper names for them, but I'm presuming they might go along with what the sentiment is that's inside them. Um, or they might just be called 1, 2 and 3, I'm not actually sure. If they are called 1, 2 and 3, then... Uh, this one's number one, and this one's number three, and that one's number two. So, um, yeah, if they are called one, two, and three, then that's how mine were labelled. Um, and then this one is kind of like a hybrid between the two. So this one has, um, on this piece, the outside cuts completely, but the inside doesn't. So that one, neither side of the... Neither side of the design has the cutting edge, so that's proper verso. This one is not verso at all, the whole thing cuts out as it is. And this one, it has a normal cutting edge on the outside, but the inside of it is verso. So you've got a real mixture, if you've got all three of these, you've got a real mixture. Or you could just get uh, one if you wanted to, or um, just to... Well, I, I, I would just buy them just for the sentiments, because I really love the sentiments. Um, but there are loads of different ways of... Um, using them as well and I'm sure there'll be tons of gorgeous samples from the rest of the design team on the shows on Creating Craft as well because I know a lot of the ladies on the team really love these kind of um, uh, larger florally kind of designs as well. I tend to um, cut things up and not use them as they're supposed to be used but um, I do appreciate them in their proper um, format. I just find um, if I'm searching for inspiration for something, I kind of want to see the non-obvious ways of using it that maybe make you think, oh, actually, I've just seen that, but I could do this with it as well, you know, so it kind of like sparks your imagination and stuff. But anyway, this one has the outside edge that actually cuts, and then the inside is a verso edge, but you also get the bubble for this one, so again, um, oh, I can't pick it up. <laughs> so again, shaped cards or a shaped easel card, or um, an aperture on a larger card, like an 8x8 card, you could have this as an aperture in it as well. Um, lots of different things you can do with having that extra outside edge, and also cutting the solid one behind and paper piecing back in as well, just means you don't have to fussy cut around the edge of something. And then this one, you actually get two circles in the centre. You get a lovely um, scalloped one with little dots in the scallops, and then you just get a normal plain edged circle where the cutting edge is right on the outside which is quite nice actually because you can kind of get through thicker materials um, then you also get a lovely little leaf which I used um, on a few of my cards and you get a flower as well which this one is a verso flower because um, it's kind of like a larger version of this one that's within the frame um, but you can actually you could make a really cool background where you just cut a load of these into your card and all you would see is the little petals with the circle in the middle and maybe you could put double sided adhesive behind it and put glitter through it or you could paper piece them back in I mean you could just base a whole card just around that one die or you can use them together and um, create gorgeous little flowers which I've used on a couple of my cards or you can just um, use this sort of um, scalloped circle shape that could then go behind your flower to make it more solid or you could just use this um, as a, like a gorgeous little 
um, scalloped circle die for like maybe you've got a small sentiment that you could stamp onto that or something you know lots of different possibilities and then the sentiment in that one says follow your dream which I really like I really love this I just really love the font it's so gorgeous as soon as I saw these I was like wow those sentiments especially this one thanks for everything I do love that sentiment like thanks for everything you don't always get thanks for everything because you know sometimes um like someone's always so lovely to you like your best friend or whatever and you just want to thank them for everything you know just for being who they are and whatever um I just think that's a really nice sentiment um as well anyway so um those are the die sets um again my ones are labeled three one and two so um I don't know whether they'll have proper names though they probably will have proper names uh, but that's just what my ones are labelled as. So let's show you, um, so I kind of did one sample focusing on each of the die sets and then I did one focusing on one sentiment and then I did one sort of mixing all three of them together. So um, this one is focusing on this die set with the Hello Beautiful inside it and I just had this idea to make this a cool watercolour-y card so I actually cut um, I cut the solid and the intricate out of um, watercolour card and then I also cut an extra one of that lily out of watercolour card and the little uh, floral elements or the little foliage and then I watercoloured it with my Nouveau Aquaflow pens so I just took, um, I think this was Mango Mimosa and um, I think the orangey one was maybe the tomato juice that's just come out then I used the the brown one and I used wild phlox was the darkest purple I used and the the lightest pinky purples were the two ones from the dreaming color collection um and actually these these drops here they were the clear um morning dew ones look how like fluoro pink that one's gone it's really funny it did it just picked out that colour, but you know, it's quite nice. Um, yeah, so I just did a sort of rough, messy, watercolour-y kind of look and added in a bit of the brown to sort of tone it down a bit, give it a vintage -y kind of vibe. Um, I took the pink colour and used it for the separate flower and then decided to balance the orange by having the sentiment from the orange as well. So for that I just used the same colours, coloured a piece of watercolour card and then die cut it out. And behind the frame I actually used one of the um, tonic embossing folders, um, the floral ones that came out a little while ago, just to add a little bit of detail behind the frame as well. And then I just used a piece of ripped vellum. Um, and the way I do the, these ripped vellum strips, you might notice they are the same width as a ruler because what I do is I take the vellum, I place the ruler down, I rip it against the ruler then I will like turn the vellum round, place the ruler back onto it so it lines up with that side and then rip down the other side and I just find that's a really easy way to get a um, consistent width strip all the way down for your vellum and that fits perfectly the sentiment um, as well so that is uh, that card then I did this one which was focusing on um, this die set which is the one that has the thanks for everything and you're the best in it and if you look at it you wouldn't really think that that frame made this card but I noticed the butterfly in it so I was like oh I wonder if you can easily snip that butterfly out and you can look how sweet the butterfly is and you can even snip the antennae as well um, and I just did it in um, the silky sky uh, satin card and um, some white card as well and just layered them on top of each other and I did the same for the you're the best sentiment and then in the background I used um, Blue Blitz Shimmer Powder uh, with different amounts of water in it to give the lighter and darker tones and I took some like aqua coloured cardstock and I just did swipes of the colour across it to give a sort of um, like an under background and then I took some spearmint and aqua coloured um, card and die cut different parts of this frame so I was focusing on this portion and this portion um, and I just cut a couple of each of them out of the different colours and then I obviously I, I trimmed off um, parts of them to make the design continuous rather than it being chopped in a random place and then I just placed the strips onto the card to give a cool background and then I just used a few um, gloss white Nouveau drops 
to sort of accent it and balance the white from the butterfly and the sentiment across the rest of the card. I just really loved how that one turned out. So that was using focusing on just this die set. Then focusing on just that one, which is the um, Follow Your Dream, I did this one. So I thought um, using it in a different way. I actually cut it five times out of five different tones of purple cardstock and the last one is actually a purple mirror card and then I chopped them all in half so I was looking at the design and if you look at it um, it's about this this way down there you kind of have um, the join between a flower and a leaf and that's practically halfway down the design between um, a rosy flower and a leaf so I lined that up on my trimmer and chopped them all in half at that point and then um, I just layered them up leaving like a, you know when you drop shadow a sentiment except I did it five times um, and just sort of layered them backwards on themselves so you got this cool um, stacked sort of die cut um, layering going on and because I chopped them in half I then swapped them over so um, it's now more like a buckle design rather than just having the circle in the centre of a square card you've got that sort of buckle design and if you chopped off a bit more of the design you could make that into like a 5x7 card as well um, and you could even offset them a bit more if you did it on a, a taller card you could not have them uh, like bang next to each other you could put one further up one further down and then I lay it up um, two of the little flowers together to give um, three different flower embellishments with the leaves um, as well and I used the um, mirror card that I'd used at the bottom of the stack to do the leaves that brought that sort of more to the top of the card and then for the sentiment I shadowed mirror card with a white card on top and then for the background all I did was I took um, some light purple Nouveau Acflow markers and just drew some circly bubbly designs in the background. I took three different colours of it. Um, I also took a glitter marker and I splatted some of that in the background and I took this Make It Happen stamp which is from the um, like doodled journaling stamps that Tonic brought out a little while ago and I used um, a couple of shades of purple ink to just stamp that in the background because it's like follow your dream make it happen you know I thought that went quite nicely together and then to finish it off I used some indigo eclipse um, dream drops in the centres of the flowers and a bit round the frame as well so that was that one then um, because I loved the sentiment so much I uh, did this one just focusing on the sentiment so all I did was cut it um, three four six times um, and placed them onto the card. I did a sort of offset like, you know, like brickwork, they're sort of staggered. Um, so I did one, two, three, four full ones, then cut that one in half, put it there and there, cut that one in half, put it there and there. And then I used, um, I think it was a rubber duck and then it's the two, two of the new ones from the uh, Merry and Bright collection, Moroccan Teal and sliced strawberry so when you um, ink blend all of those ones together you kind of get a greeny tone and a purpley tone between them and then um, this is another new die set as well uh, these are called the scribble frames there'll be a separate up close video for them um, and I actually just ink blended a piece of card with the same three colours and then die cut the scribble frame and placed it on there like a diamond so it sort of matched where the colours of ink were so it draws your attention to the main sentiment and that one is, I stacked three of them together and then put some um, glitter gloss sparkle pen on the top. I don't know if you can actually see that at all. It's very subtle. You can kind of see it a little bit. And then finally I used some of these Silver Crystals um, Nouveau glitter drops to finish that off. But I just, I really love how that one turned out. I really love that sentiment. I know I've said that like five times in this video, but I really love the sentiments. Um, they're just gorgeous. And I love how it's got that little kiss inside it as well. It's obviously, it's holding the sentiment together, but having that little kiss in there is really sweet. I didn't notice that until I was snipping it apart to make the other card I'm going to show you. So that's just so sweet. So that is using, just focusing on one sentiment. But again, you could do this same card with all four of the different sentiments that are in there. So um, it's just showing you like a faux embossed background with ink blending and then stacking up the sentiment. And then... Finally, the last card I did, um, I incorporated all of them together, I think. I'm pretty sure I got everything in, didn't I? Yes. So, I used the um, 
flower shaped die from this one and cut an aperture into my piece of card which I added some shimmer powders to and that was solar flare, um, falling leaves and a little tiny bit of green parade to create that background. So that was using that section of that die set. Then for the rest of it I actually kept that flower shape and I ended up putting it behind it because I wanted the green to carry on um, but all of the um, floral elements are cut from the edge of this die set so you can see here that half a daisy um, you can see it right in the background there and a darker one here and then um, I used a couple of the different uh, rose elements as well I think it was these two here and then I also used the separate leaf and a few of the flowers as well and I took the um, oh I also took the branchy leaf from this one as well um, and the way I did this one I put double sided adhesive behind the aperture like just like um, a tape runner like the tonic funky tape runner um, then you have the card facing towards you and you have all your little bits of flowers and you kind of hold them up where you want them and then press the adhesive so they stick behind the frame and you do that all the way around and then once you've flipped it over you can add a bit of extra tape to hold them in place if you want to and then I just placed the um, the actual flower that came out of this aperture I placed it exactly behind the aperture again and then I did use sellotape to hold that in place back on the card you could have had another piece of card that you'd added shimmer powder to but I, I didn't have another one and I couldn't bother to wait for it to dry so I just used the flower that I'd cut out of it um, and then for the sentiment I combined the two sentiments from this die set and I actually uh, snipped off the small words from both of them and then I snipped off the S from uh, thank so it just says thank and then I snipped off the apostrophe RE off of your to give you so it just says thank you in that gorgeous scripty font and that was when I realised that there's a kiss holding the thanks for everything together because obviously I was snipping around there and I was like oh there's a kiss holding it together um, yeah, so that was the final card that I've done um, with these gorgeous die sets. But I, I can guarantee you, you will see these sentiments popping up um, in my videos because I really love them. I didn't actually film any of these. I'm kind of gutted I didn't film this one because I really love it. But I might recreate it um, for a video just because I really, really loved how it turned out. Um, yeah, I've, I've had quite a lot to do at the moment, so I was trying to just focus on making the cards rather than actually filming anything because I get a bit like I can't remember which one I filmed and which one I need to take a photo of but um yeah so um yeah I hope you enjoyed this up close video looking at the floral frame die sets and I will make sure to have all their proper names um linked in the description below and also if you go to my blog um I'm also putting the picture links in my blog post so if you can't remember uh, which one was what name and you don't want to click on all three links to find out which one was what um, if you go to my blog there should be actual pictures of them so it makes it much easier for you to find the one you're looking for as well so um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video bye